Jeez, I haven't been in a place like this since, well, you know, it's just like the old days. Listen, I gotta take care of something. Hang tight. Well, wait, wait. What should I do? I don't know. Why don't you make some friends? Looks like someone's in the middle of a game. Well, he's not going anywhere. I wonder where they found this old thing. I haven't seen one of these in years. Excuse me. Oh, you again. <laughs> you got some moves, I'll give you that. Hold on a minute. Don't I know you from somewhere? I don't know. Maybe. Garcia. Javier Garcia. For what it's worth, I think you got screwed on the gambling thing. A lifetime ban. Shit. Should have had a 20-year career. The way I see it. Nothing wrong with betting on yourself to win. <laughs> and that got a lifetime ban? Ah, uh, they just wanted to set an example. I was the poor bastard they used to do it on. All I know is what I read in the papers. Anyway, I'm Conrad. This here's Francine. He runs the place? I just take his money. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe I'm just letting you win. Oh, actually, if you're the gambling type, game's poker. Five card stud. I'll raise you. What do you think? Should I call or should I fold? Hmm. <laughs> Don't get too intimidated. I lose more often than I care to admit. Mm. Fold. It doesn't feel right. Mm, I go with your gut. Fold. Now that's a shame. Let's see how it could have gone. You folded that. <laughs> Unbelievable. Good looking hand there, but not good looking enough. Whoa, thanks for the warning. No problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean it. That could have cost me. How's about a drink? On my tab. Bottoms up. Oh, man, this smells like turpentine. <laughs> That's the weak stuff. Don't turn away from me. I'm talking to you. Oh, shit. Hey, what's the point in talking when I already told you a deal is a deal, and it's done? What's going on? This guy ripped me off. I traded him a crate of perfectly good batteries, and he gave me a box of bullets that won't fire. He could have gotten both of us killed. Oh, yeah? And who the fuck are you, a bodyguard or something? Because I don't scare easy, all right? And I don't respond to threats, neither. She doesn't need a bodyguard. She can take care of herself. Believe me. Uh, well, you can't even prove those are the bullets I traded you. Oh, hey, Clint, come on. He knows the bullets don't work. Listen to him. He's not even nervous. I could have died because of his bullets. Unfucking believable. Look out! <laughs> Listen, let's all cool down, huh? You were acting crazy, I was too. We just got a little out of hand. That's all. Just give me what I'm owed. Jesus, you gotta get her under control, man. This ain't no way to do business. Boy, you have it wrong, buddy. I don't control her, which looks like bad news for you. A deal. All right, hey, okay, all right, so, hey, we'll, we'll trade back. I'll find some batteries. I don't need batteries. What I need are bullets that won't get me killed. Oh. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. Drop the gun. Right now. Say he attacked you and that he was going for his gun. I fucking warned you. Eli attacked him. I only shot because... Shut it. 
You've done enough talking. Drop it. There's a herd out there, and you're firing off a fucking... What the fuck happened here? He attacked Javi, okay? It was self-defense. Enough from you. Did she really have to shoot? Look at my eye, man. Of course she's telling the truth. The guy ripped her off, reached for his gun, and would have shot me if she hadn't stopped him. See? You happy now? <sighs> God damn it. I'm putting you two under lock and key until I figure out what to do with Whoa. you. Whoa! Okay, what? Are you for real? As real as it gets. Now move it. Got some nerve coming in here fucking up my bar. I'd have punched your fucking lights out. Both of you. But Eli was a grade-A certified dipshit. I'll even have someone come take a look at that cut. Hey. Thanks for having my back at the hangar. That was, um... That was cool of you. I wasn't sure there for a minute. Of course. Anytime. Well, I mean, you and I are a team now. Thanks. I mean it. Just don't think this makes us friends or anything. Hello? I'm Eleanor. I'm what passes for a doctor around here. Trip sort of overdoes it sometimes. I hate that I'm treating you in a cage, like you're some feral animal. Can you just, I don't know, just let us out? Seriously? Well, you said it yourself. Trip overreacted. Look, I'm just here to clean up your laceration. Now, let's see about that wound. Yeah, he got you good. Try to hold still. <clears throat> Why is it always the pretty ones who end up causing the most trouble? As if good looks equal bad behavior or something. Are you calling me pretty? <laughs> I was talking about Eli, the dead guy. Oh, yeah, good. Because I prefer dashing. Or debonair, maybe. Yeah, I'll try to keep that in mind. People are saying she killed a man in cold blood. If you don't mind me asking. What? did happen exactly that they were arguing and that she went crazy over nothing look things got out of hand clementine was only trying to make a point but then you make it sound so casual best thing is probably for you two to leave town and get back to your group we were attacked earlier this evening there were four of us oh shit i'm sorry if there's if there's anything I can do to help. Well, not that I have much to offer you, but... I wouldn't want to make any trouble for you. This whole thing's been... pretty messy. I hear you, but... Eleanor? You done yet? Just about. All right, here's what we're gonna do. I'm driving you that junkyard myself. Get you out of my hair, and no one can say I didn't do right by no one. In the meantime, you two can sleep right here and think about what shitheads you were earlier. On my terms and on my timeline. You got me? All right. Fair enough. Fair enough? Go kiss a skunk's ass. I should be earning a goddamn Boy Scout badge for this. Trip, it doesn't seem right to wait. Javi's people, they can need a medic. No, -uh, no way. Not putting you in that kind of danger again. That's not your call. Look, maybe there's another way. We've got a rear gate down at the other end of the airfield. We don't use it much, but... Well, we could leave tonight. Slip past the herd, get a jump start on reaching that junkyard. If your family does need help, I'll be right there to give it. 
Something tells me Trip won't be too happy about you sneaking us out the back door. He'll get pissy, but he'll get over it. Sometimes with him, you gotta ask for forgiveness rather than permission. Anyway, think about it. I've got to check on some patients, but I'll be back in an hour. You know, I never would have guessed she had it in her. Yeah, she's... She's something. The thing is, is, and maybe this sounds weird, but I still trust Trip more than I trust her. You're right. Trip's got more muscle, just in case. We'll wait and get a ride with him. Glad you're finally listening to reason. You know, when I met you, I thought you'd just be another asshole like everyone else. And to think that when we first met, you nearly blew my head off. <laughs> yeah, guess I made the right call. It's gonna be a while before that herd passes. We might as well get some sleep. Good idea. I'm exhausted. I'll get the lamp. Dinner. Aren't you hungry? <sighs> We're out of food, AJ. We're gonna starve. I'm starving. We gotta... AJ, stay here while I find us dinner, okay? Uh, Tell me you understand. <sighs> Please, we need this, AJ. We need food. You gotta be brave, okay? We almost there. Hey, Clem. Yeah, we're close. I gotta say, I hope your people are safe and sound. 
Eleanor asked me before we left to make sure of it. Oh, yeah? Yes, sir. So that's what I'm gonna do. Though why she went to bat for you, I've got no idea. I mean, she hardly even knows you. And you don't know her, for that matter. Makes a guy wonder, you know? Well, there's not much mystery to a trip. She's a good human being. Yeah. Eleanor's got a big heart. That's for damn sure. Guys, that's the place. Oh, shit. What a mess. Jesus. Must have been hundreds of them. Kate's good in a crisis. She'd know how to get shelter. What's that? said lock yourself in and don't come out not even once it's quiet it kept running through my head like on a loop you did exactly what you should have done i always knew you were a smart kid thanks it was scary at first but once the muertos couldn't see me anymore they just passed by kate and your brother where are they we got pulled apart when that huge bunch of muertos showed up kate yelled that they were going to try to make it back to the van and that's where we're headed let's go find your brother sweetheart No sign of them. They must have seen it like this, then gone someplace else to hide. Kate. They're trapped in there. Mariana, stay back. all of you happy you're all okay another couple of minutes we might not have been but then you showed up just when it really mattered yeah well that's kind of my thing oh. I, I wanted to come after you I, I swear i did you don't have to snot all over my shirt about it i thought we were dead like never gonna see you again dead we only had a couple bullets left you're still alive aren't you so is Kate, so is Mari. That's all that matters. I was just so scared. I'm here now. You don't have to be scared. Hey, you hurt yourself. You must have scraped it in the truck. I didn't even notice. Hey, at least it's not a bite. Well, not much we can do about it here. I've got a lady friend who's a doctor. As soon as we get back to Prescott, she'll patch you right up. I'm Trip, by the way. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. We should be getting back. Don't want to push our luck. Who's the kid with the gun? Does she have a name you want to share with us? Or are you going to make me do my own introductions? Clementine's a friend. Hi there. Glad I was able to help. Well, we're very grateful to you. Really. There's a town nearby. It's safe. I like the sound of that. Oh my god, 
Harvey, do they have hot water? Even like lukewarm water would be okay. Ah, oh, and bubble bath. Wouldn't bubble bath be amazing? I think so. Right, Trip? <laughs> well, I guess you'll find out. I thought you'd been to this place. I have. I just... I didn't have much time to relax in my jacuzzi suite, <laughs> you know? Between you and me, these kinds of missions don't usually go so well. But you found every single one of your people. And you found them alive, healthy, reasonably cheerful. I wasn't expecting this. Believe me, to have my family back together again, it's... I get it. I do. When we get back to Prescott, you still owe me a working ride. I haven't forgotten about our deal. You couldn't have known what happened to your van, but still, I need some way out of here. Don't worry. I haven't forgotten our arrangement. I know it's not the easiest thing to find, but... Cool. Thanks. Yeah. 